buy some cars because they're practical, some cars because you have a big job to do, and some cars because you want to get around a racetrack as quickly as possible. Well, the Mercedes Maybach S580 doesn't fall into any of those categories. Instead, this is what you get when you want to feel like you're king of the road. I love the Maybach, but before I can tell you more about it, please be sure to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and find us on all of your favorite social media using the handle at MotorOne.com. The Maybach owes a lot of its gravitas to the fact that the standard Mercedes-Benz S-Class is already one of the most impressive luxury sedans that you can buy today. Changing it over into a Maybach required only a few little tweaks and one very big one. As you can see, this car is 7.1 inches longer with all of that length dedicated exclusively to the rear seats. That gives you a big square door and a cute little triangular window that's perfect for when you're reclining back there and you just want a glimpse of the outside world. People outside will also get to see you posing next to this beautiful Maybach badge, the original design from the 1930s that makes this car feel very special. In the transition from Benz to Maybach, there are also a few small alterations up front. For example, this chrome rib runs down the center of the hood on the way to a traditional Mercedes three-pointed star, and it's probably my favorite tweak that they've made design-wise to this car. It's very subtle, you wouldn't really notice it unless you were looking for it, but from behind the wheel it feels grand, like you're driving an old 1930s luxury car, it's fabulous. Up front, there's a waterfall style grille with a Maybach embossing that replaces the standard Mercedes grill. And then down here, there's some kind of AMG looking elements, but there's a lot of chrome trim to make sure that you know that this is a luxury car. And then of course, there are these wheels. These 20 inchers are fabulous, and they're meant to echo my favorite Mercedes wheel of all time, the monoblock from the 1990s. Another surefire way of knowing that you're looking at a Maybach instead of a Benz is if it has two-tone paint. This is a $14,500 option from the company's exclusive Manu Tour lineup of customization options, and I think it looks fantastic. Cirrus silver over nautical blue is the perfect color combination for this car, but if you don't like it, there are a few other two-tone options out there for you. From the front seat, there aren't that many clues that this is a Maybach instead of a Benz, except for the extra distance between you and the rear seat passengers when you look in the mirror. For the most part, this is standard S-Class fare, including a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster, a 12.8 inch center touchscreen display, and a standard head-up display with augmented reality navigation. There are a few clues that you've got something a little bit special here though, like this Manu Factor logo on the center stack. That's a clue that you spent $8,000 on the Manu Factor leather package which wraps everything in genuine hides. The headliner, the sun visors, even the assist handles and the sides of the center console are all genuine leather and it helps this car feel very, very rich. There is one part of the car that detracts from that though and it's this gloss black center console. It just looks and feels a little bit cheap and I really wish they would have just invested a little bit more money to turn this into genuine piano wood black or something like that instead of just kind of some ratty looking plastic. Of course, if you're shopping for a Maybach, you're probably most concerned with the rear seat. And this car obliges with an incredible amount of room and lots of comfort to go along with it. For example, the front passenger seat deploys away at the touch of a button, leaving the right rear passenger absolutely limousine levels of room. And as you're about to see, plenty of lean back comfort as well. It's the perfect place to unwind after a stressful day or to kind of spend a long road trip without having to worry so much about the stresses of traffic and driving. It's just so nice and comfortable. Mercedes also gives you a tablet right here to help each rear seat passenger adjust their own respective infotainment systems. You can do all kinds of things like adjust your seat massage, change the ambient lighting, whatever you need to do to make sure it's a very comfortable and serene journey for you. And then of course, it's the piece de resistance of any ultra luxury sedan. There is a champagne cooler in the rear seat Perfect for keeping any beverage chilled. I'm driving later, I can't drink champagne. And the cup holders themselves are also chilled so that you can make sure to keep that bottle nice and cold. Champagne flute holders are right here. This vehicle doesn't have them because they don't trust us grubby journalists not to steal them. From the massagers and the beverage options to the leather bound pillows and wood trimmed seat backs, everything about this car is tailor made to make the rear passenger feel special. That sense of occasion doesn't end when you get behind the wheel either. Like the standard S-Class, the Maybach S580 comes with a four liter twin turbocharged V8 that has 496 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque. 
Most importantly though, there's a mild hybrid system in there that kind of helps even out the turbo lag so that whenever you dip into the throttle, all you're left with is this smooth groundswell of thrust. It really perfectly befits this vehicle's purpose because it just kind of doesn't upset the rear seat passenger while still giving the front seat passenger something to smile about. Now, for some reason, the Mercedes Maybach doesn't come standard with e-active body control. It's a $6,500 option, but you're already spending 180 grand. You don't want to skimp out now because active body control gives this thing an incredible magic carpet ride. Mercedes-Benz does not oversell this system one bit. The coolest function is the road sensing camera that actively scans the surface ahead and looks for irregularities. And when it senses them, it actively dampens each individual wheel as you cross the obstacle so that you're left with just this perfect glassy smooth ride. It's most impressive when you're driving around at low speeds and hitting speed bumps because you can feel the car actually lift the front and rear wheels as you cross the speed bump, leaving the body perfectly level. Active body control also includes a pretty slick curve function. So when you're driving on a twisty road, the vehicle will actually lean into curves to counteract body roll. It's a move that helps increase passenger comfort and reduce motion sickness, and it works really well. Something that I wasn't necessarily expecting is how nimble this thing is, and that's because it has standard rear axle steering that angles the wheels up to 10 degrees in the opposite direction of the front wheels when you're going around corners or navigating a city street. It gives this thing a much tighter turning radius than I was expecting, and it made me feel a lot more confident driving it in traffic. Ultimately, there's not a ton that really distinguishes the Maybach from the standard S-Class. You can get the same active body control and rear axle steering on a regular wheelbase car without spending $180,000. But that's not as much a slight on the Maybach as it is a credit to the regular Benz. This thing benefits from that car's beautiful engineering to be just as comfortable and confident as you want it to be, while also having some added space in the back for an executive class VIP. The Mercedes Maybach S580 has a starting price of $185,950. That's definitely a lot of money, and this vehicle adds to that with the special paint, a leather interior option, and a few other niceties, bringing the total to $228,450. That is an incredible sum of money, more than any of us will ever spend on a car in our lives. In fact, it's probably more than I'll spend on every single car I own until the day I die combined. And yet, I still think this is kind of a rad bargain. Think about it. A Bentley Flying Spur starts at just over $200,000, and with a few options, it easily hits a quarter of a million. Things are even worse if you go to a Rolls Royce store to spend your money, where a base ghost starts at $330,000 and neither of those vehicles has the presence that this car has because of this long extended wheelbase. Just because of the added real estate that it takes up, this car feels special and important and imperious and I absolutely love it. I've had it for a week and I have loved looking out at my driveway and seeing this thing waiting for me, more so than I would a Rolls Royce or a Bentley. They're coming to pick it up tomorrow and I'm really sad to see it go. I'm just gonna have to go back to my normal, boring daily life. But until then, I might as well enjoy some of the perks. Hey driver, take the long way home.